Hello and welcome to hashtag learning videos. So this is our complete web series on AWS best practices and tips and today is our video number two. Today we are going to talk about the identity and access management access key rotation and why it is important to do so. So let's get started. Okay. So now we are here in the AWS console and let's talk about why it is important to rotate your access keys every few months. So basically, as you all know, AWS access keys are very powerful and if someone gets hold of those keys, then they can pretty much access every resource that you have access to. So in order to prevent from that unauthorized access, it is a good practice to actually rotate those keys every few months. This is just like a password policy wherein you uh, change your password every few months. So in this video, I'm going to show you a way uh, wherein you can go and rotate your access keys without actually uh, deleting the existing ones. So let's get started. So to do that, first you need to go to your AWS console and go to the IAM section. Now, when you're in this section, uh, you just need to go to the users tab and here you can uh, actually see the age of the access keys and this is our test account and we have some uh, user accounts with uh, access keys that are really old and really they need to be changed. So let's go ahead and change uh, this guy's access key. So I just need to select this user here and then I need to go to the security credentials. So here uh, you can see uh, that uh, the uh, there is some access key here and the status of that access key is active. So what I have to do now is like create a new access key and uh, I can just download this access key, save it somewhere. And once that is saved, all I got to do is like, I just need to go and change the access key of the, I mean like I, I need to go and update all my uh, applications uh, with the new access key or my local uh, for, for this instance. Uh, like I just need to go ahead and uh, update my access key. And once I know that the new access keys are working, I can come back to this page and then make this particular access key inactive. So once I make this inactive, the, then no uh, this then this access key is no longer valid, and uh, no one can access uh, any resources with the help of this access keys. So uh, this is pretty much it, and I really hope that this tip will help you in maintaining uh, your um, AWS resources securely. So thank you for watching. For more interesting videos and updates, please subscribe to our channel Hashtag Learnings and also do check out our courses on Udemy. All links are in the description below. Thank you.